Hey lovely people, welcome back to another video. Um, the quality is going to be so amazing because I'm filming it on my phone, which is really good. And I'm already sorry in, uh, in advance because I'm so bad at looking at the camera rather than myself. Um, I end up like, oh, I'm, I talk at myself rather than at the camera. Um, like the lens which is just <sighs> basically I went to go and get my patch test in Sudbury so there's this new um, salon that's popped up in Sudbury and it, it looks amazing the interiors are phenomenal and then on Friday I'm actually getting my hair and my brows done there it is so so gorgeous and I absolutely love we love good old Kimberly she's gonna do my brows again um I don't know if I told you guys but I got my eyebrows um laminated before by her and I absolutely loved them um I do tend to soap brow my brows as you can see here I don't like tint them anymore like um I used to have like um this powder that I used to like put in my brows all the time then I used to brow them oh god they looked quite interesting to say the least and then Alexa managed to persuade me to the soap brow and I haven't looked back and I really really enjoyed them laminated when I got them laminated a month ago um so yes she's going to laminate them for me and then I'm going to go get them my balayage refreshed and I mean I feel like condition of my hair is all right I feel like it's still pretty good considering I have been using fudge everyday um shampoo and conditioner because i've been doing an ad with them that is coming up soon um it might already be up on the feed i'm not sure but i have been using that to kind of like keep the blonde sort of like tones rather than it being all brassy and horrible so um yeah i do think it is in quite good sort of nick but i'm like quite dark up here because it's obviously like grown out so um yes it'll be nice to have a little refresh i'm gonna also Maybe go a little bit shorter. I'm thinking like another inch, maybe two. Go a bit crazy. Oh, also, outfit of the day. So we've got this naked fashion. Oh my God, what's happened to my hands? Naked fashion, knitted top. The whole thing's knitted fashion. I've got my bag. I've done a... Um, I've done a haul with you guys, I think, on Naked Fashion. I really, really love the fit, love the quality, it's glorious. But yes, the top is glorious and I love the bag. It's got a perfect amount of room fit all different bits and pieces in we've got the pu trousers on she's looking smart she's looking sexy hang on let's come back a bit and then also i've got the new balance um i'll do like a proper i was gonna say i'll do like a proper outfit of the day but i can't really because i'll be in in public and i get a little bit uh when i'm by myself in public <laughs> becoming a little bit a little bit of a habit and i can't help it um i've just come back from the body shop event in ipswich just back in the car now i had some returns to do in primark i don't know if you guys saw that like home sense primark come shop with me sort of video um but there were a couple of things that i weren't quite happy with that co-ord the brown and blue co-ord i don't know if you guys remember it um i wasn't a fan of it when i tried it on i looked so boxy it didn't really do we, we put something on it's not a lot happening and i found another jumper and i might have found some cushions when you go in primark and you're not expecting anything you come across come across some gems i feel like when you're expecting stuff it doesn't happen so i found some gems which i'll show you when i get home i also whilst i'm in ipswich i was like well let's have a little look at the let's have a little look at the charity shops and i found some bits well i didn't actually i found one thing i felt so bad because it was only 75p it was literally this hang on this little popcorn thing i saw it as soon as i went in and i was like oh my god that is amazing i've always wanted one and then there was nothing else there so i was literally paying 75p for this and i was like do you mind if i pay by a car and she was like let me it is a pound for a car and i was like oh god this is so embarrassing so i just paid a pound for it instead of 75p i'm that bad of a person that i do not carry any cash at all at all i don't carry any cash so i had to pay a pound on my card 
what's the lowest you've ever paid on your card please do let me know so i don't feel as bad i think i've paid like 30p or something on my card back in the tesco days when i used to um go on my breaks i used to only have like my phone so i'd pay contactless for like things on my break anyway there's a lad talking hang on there's a there's a lad walking over there that's really awkward tomorrow too sir um but no i also went into h&m because i had to do a return of a couple of other bits heartbreaking there was basically this tennis skirt and this dress that i really really loved bought it online and they didn't have my size online or in store um and it didn't quite fit as nice as i wanted them to so i then bought this jumper which i shall show you when i get home i'll show it all to you when i get home <music> years later i am back it's now about five o'clock i don't know what's going on with my hair so we'll just let it slide for now is that okay okay cool just finished shooting for that brand that i said about um with guy and i came back home we're gonna try and make a katsu curry i don't know if you guys are avid wagamama eaters um i love myself the yakisoba chicken and prawn and guy is a heavy round but randomly guy was like should we try and make a katsu curry for tea and i was like sure why not so we're making a katsu curry i like chicken i like rice never actually had a katsu curry when we went to um wagamama though so we shall see how that goes i'll show you like a a little pan of how it goes on later i need to tidy <laughs> pretty badly so i kind of left my room in a tip this is all from earlier this is all like shooting stuff so guys just started dinner and we've just gotten through the recipe and um you need oh hello she's quite exposed here but you need a sieve and guess what we don't have a sieve yet again we have another appliance that we don't have <laughs> the other day it was a whisk for batter and a lighter for candles. This today is a sieve. What um, appliances do you not have in your house, please? I'd like to know, because then I won't feel that much of an, incon an inconvenience, as I say, then I won't feel as much as a terrible adult. Should we go get a sieve? <laughs> Understand that I've given you absolutely no context for like two days of my week. Um, <laughs> the thing is, I just get so caught up in the moment and I completely forget to film. And I'm like, oh, I don't really know. I just want to get out my camera and be like, this is what I'm doing. So instead, I'm now at home in my content room. There's more mess on the floor um, with a little fluffy hat, which I've quite decided that I enjoy. I, I do really enjoy it, I won't lie. I um, just put it up on my stories. Um, I did like a ASOS order and I've seen so many people. I think the first person I saw was maybe, um, I don't know if you guys follow her, her name's Louisa. See something. Um, but she's like really, really big on Pinterest and I was like, actually, got me crazy girls, but I think I quite enjoy it. There's another one I bought as well. I might just do a quick haul for you, actually, because there's no point me making this into a whole video. Hang on, let me pop you up. The amount of behind the scenes content you guys see, you know, um, excuse me. 
excuse me, sir, excuse me, pop back there, there we are. The amount of behind the scenes content that you guys see is actually quite good, I would think. You know, you see, I've had quite a socially taxing couple of days. I went to, so I don't know how much I showed you, but basically um, yesterday I went into London and met up with Carrie first, we went and got Azizis, and then we went and did a little bit of girl bossing around West Tales in Shepherd's Bush, which is fucking massive. It's the biggest shopping centre I've ever seen in my entire life. It's fucking huge. I kind of, we went into Monkey, Bershka, Stradivarius and Pull and Bear and then we went really briefly um, Carrie came with me, Maria, Amy, Chloe and Jess to bowling. So we went to All Star Lanes. I think that's what it's called. It's at Westfield. Um, there's so many places there. I wouldn't, I wouldn't be able to tell you half of the shops that are probably there. They're all there. All the shops are there. Any high street brand you can think of, it's there. We went bowling and did that. And then after that, we got food at Nando's and then... I do love being Nando's. So I went and got Zizi's. I had a free course meal at Zizi's. And then I went and had food afterwards at Nando's. Yes, I did eat a lot of food. And then I went and stayed at Jess and Chloe's, which we have called Girl Boss Towers. It's actually Girl Boss Towers. You know when you say stuff ironically to begin with, and then it comes like a thing, like your vocabulary then is just like, it's girl bossing, working is girl bossing, and I, it, I hate myself for doing so and saying so. It it really cringes me out also. If it cringes you out, it does us also. But I can't get out of my head now. It's just something that's gonna be around for a little while and then it'll phase off. We woke up, got some sick content. I'm quite enjoying the the London content that I'm creating versus like my Suffolk content. Everywhere is aesthetically looking nice. It's city vibe. So we shot some content, got some reels as well, and then we went back to Shepherd's Book. Some really, really hard work, really taxing stuff. And then like we pretty much spent all day there from about one to o'clock and then I left at six. I came home at about half eight, quarter to nine. I saw that my ASOS parcel came. So yes, let's then get on with that. So, first things first was this furry hat, which I thoroughly enjoy and feel like it will be on my head for quite a few outfits now. I might just have to repeat all of the outfits that I've ever worn and put this hat on it. I feel like it would go. I feel like it would go because it's just a black hat. Like, it's just going to go. It's so much more versatile. Um, obviously, I'll pop all links down below for you for the following scenes that you're about to see because you will actually i think die if you don't have these in in your life some of these items specifically the fairy hat i think it's a go-to for autumn you know i did a autumn staples video make this one of them okay this is a staple that you require now look, look at me i'm wearing a hat i never wear hats i keep looking at myself and i'm like wow who's that sexy girl with a fairy hat on wow look at her go look at her go okay now let's continue on with some more bits from ASOS that I got. So, I did get some jeans and I'm not sure if they're gonna fit me. Cause all of the ZZs and food that I just keep eating, cause I'm out of control, clearly. But first things first, I got some mesh, well, tight socks. Should we just call them tight socks? They're tights in sock form. They're like a, um, they're not a trainer sock, but they're just like, they're a couple of inches above your ankle and I really enjoy them I think they just look sick. Another thing that I've seen from Instagram and gone, well now I need those. They're only like five pounds as well and I'm hoping they're not gonna be like, you know, when you buy a couple of pairs from Primark and they just die on first use. 15 denier recycled knee high socks in black. So like, you know, when my loafers, just talking to you like, you know I wear my loafers. You know I wear loafers, I'm fucking obsessed with them. They don't do very well for long wear, the ones that I have, um, but I just force them into my feet. I force them. If they don't bend, they'll snap. That's what I say. That's like, is that a crown reference? That's the crown reference to the Princess Diana part, if you guys have seen that. I keep looking at myself with that hat on. Wow, look at that. The other fairy hat, so I've got two. Got this one, because I thought, oh, play it safe. Let's see if it actually suits me. And then, oh, oh. <laughs> not hat hair, right, get the other one on quick. I got this one, which I'm a bit more hmm, about, I think I prefer the darker, I think I prefer the black. I really like it though, I really like, hang on, let's give it a little bit more, hang on, bring the, 
I think these were all as well. I've got quite a big head. So I think I got them all in like a medium large because there was like the option of small, medium and medium large. Like it was just two sizes and I got a large because I was like, well, your girl's got a fat head. Yeah, I feel like this would be good for like festival, but I don't think I'd wear this one as much. I don't think it's as versatile as hat hair, Newick, Newick, as this one, look, beautiful. You're probably at the screen like, that's fucking disgusting. What the hell is wrong with this woman? Unsubscribe, I'm sorry. Sometimes I just go through phases. I've told you this, I've told you this before. Sometimes I just go through phases. You've just gotta wait it out, okay? And then it, it'll pass. This too shall pass. Next thing I got, which I'm not sure about, are these like black smart shoes, I would call them. I feel like these are things that you'd wear at school um, and also potentially um, clown shoe vibes. Now that I looked at them, I'll, you know me like you're mm -hmm, mm, unsure. With like the mesh tights, the hat, maybe not the hat, maybe sunglasses on the top of your head. I know it's October. Um, <laughs> but maybe whack them on. A vest, obviously, because I'm obsessed with vests, like a skirt and a shirt underneath. I just think that's just quite a nice sort of thing to do. But also I feel like I'm gonna have to try them on and kind of like look at them for a little while with them on. Cause they do look a bit, oh, do you know what I mean? Like they are clown shoes, but they're also school shoes. I feel like they're just quite edgy and cool. Is she edgy and cool though, or is she just a clown? Yes. Okay, two more items to go. So I also got a coat. I got two coats recently. One was from Pretty Little Thing. Do, I, do you want me to show you that one as well? A bit like, oh, go on then. Right, first things first. Fucking hell. It stinks. You need to air this out if you're getting this. You need to air this out and also attach it properly to the freaking button. So the fur is like detachable. I will show you it properly in a second. Oh. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Wait, you wait, don't worry, I've got you. That's the length. Look, and it's even got, where's she gone? She's even got her belts, so she can do it at all, look. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Isn't it so, so sexy? I love it so much. And it's one of those sort of coats that you can sort of like dress up or down. Like I literally just wore, I still stink, look, this actually stinks. Like I'm sat here sweat, like it stinks of fish. It's disgusting. But I literally just wore this plain t-shirt and some jeans and it just looks like you've made such an effort and it looks amazing. It's a coat that I still be living and dying in because you guys know it was in one of my, in my autumn staples or I can't remember what video it was in, but I said, I'm getting one of these coats. And now look, it's October and she's got one. Girlies, she's got one. And I'm very, very excited for that. Obviously, like I said, I'll link that one down below. I also got another one. Why do I feel like I'm like some sort of, this is giving me like top hat vibes now. I don't think I need to put it, there we go. It was giving me top hat vibes, you know, like, I don't know, like Willy Wonka? I don't know, I don't, I don't know. Maybe I'll take it off, but then I've got hat hair, so I need to keep it on. Last coat I also got, it's from Bershka, but it's ASOS, and it's basically, you know I've got that Boohoo faux leather jacket blazer vibe one. I've now got a longer version, so it's like a black faux leather trench vibe. Let me show you. Absolutely stinks, it honks, it's disgusting. But again, she's got her little lasso nasty thing. Look, Sherlock Holmes, here, here he is. Here I am, Sherlock Holmes, here she is. That would be me as a little parody. Absolutely love it. As I said, it's from Bershka. I think I got it in a size, I got it in an XL. And I just love it. I think the length as well, it's not too bad. I really enjoy the length. I think you'll get it if you wear a lot of skirts. If you're wearing like a pleated skirt or you're wearing just a skirt in general, 
you're constantly, for me, you're on guard and you're like, oh, pull it down, oh, oh, oh. Whereas you've then just got to sort out the front and the back is covered by the coat so you haven't got to worry about it. Hacks, girlies. And also, just long coats make you look so much more... Do you know what I mean by that? Just like, she's done, she's, she's ready. I also have like some puffers, but I really, 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 really enjoy those. Those are my favorites by far. The jeans, I got ASOS Design High Rise Super Slouchy Mum Jeans, and I got them in a waist 32, length 32. Tell me what you think about the color. First things first. The colour's a bit off. I don't know if you'll be able to properly see. Hang on. Get a bit closer. Do you see it a bit more now? It's a bit like washed out vibes. But I was thinking with like all of my crazy, crazy knits and stuff, I just think they'd be quite nice because I live and die in my Bershka jeans. I think it would be quite nice for me to have a pair of jeans that are similarly comfy, but also look really good. So we're on the hunt for another pair of those. Is it like an acidy sort of wash? I'm not sure. And is that still in? Is that still a thing? If not, can I bring it back? That's a question from me to you right now. Answer it. What do you think? Okay, I've got the jeans on and I'm not sure because they're like a, a mum jean and I kind of went off those because of like the style. Um, ignore the mess. First things first. So this is what they look like. Do you know what I mean? Like, I'm really used to a wide leg and it's just not quite, uh, they are wide leg, but they're also, like what's going on here? I know they're a slouch fit, so that's obviously why, but it just then looks, the bum always looks magnificent. This I know, thank you. Yeah, no, I'm just unsure. Maybe it's the color and maybe the hat's just throwing it off and the outfit's just not correct. But the front's just like, what is this? Is it just room for pockets? Like what? What is it? What's going on? Also, really quickly, really, really quickly. Um, this has been quite a baby boom in my family. <laughs> like a lot of my cousins are now pregnant or with children. So basically was in this really weird shop. It wasn't weird, it was a really nice shop. Called Lindex. Lindex? Hadn't ever heard of it before, again, in Shepherd's Bush in Westfield. And I found this and I sent it to my cousin and I was like, I'm actually crying in this shop. I need to buy this for you. Look, look. And then it's got fucking matching trousers. I was looking at it, like I was literally, like I am now, like I was looking at it and I was like, oh my God. Look how fucking cute that is. I love it. And as well, it's all soft. BRB crying. So yeah, Lindex, if you guys happen to have children or know of people that are having children or whatever, you can check them out for gifts. As well, I just like signed up to an email thing or something and they gave me like 20% off or something there. And I've obviously unsubscribed now, but I got money off. So they also had like like a baby grow that had like vegetables on them and they had like faces on, which was really freaking cute. That's all I have left for you to say. That's all I have to say for you. Um, love you lots.